How's it going, everybody? This is Praying Connor, and you're about to watch a showdown Wi-Fi battle video today. If you're not aware, my DS is broken. My top screen fell apart, so I can't access my Wi-Fi battles on my DS at the moment up until it's repaired, and I don't know when that's going to happen, but you're going to see the majority of my matches on Showdown, unfortunately. Uh, I am part of the ICL. If you have not seen my first match of the ICL, you should go check it out because it was an awesome match. Uh, and the ICL is going to be really fun because it's a new battling league that I'm part of. Really talented players in the league that... And, you know, you're going you're gonna to enjoy it. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so if you want to go check out my first week battle, you can go check out my channel and you can look it up there. Okay, so this showdown match is a OE battle that I had with Wing Desire. Of course, Wing Desire is my opponent. He's packing a Dawn Fan, a Charizard, which could go Mega. I'm not, I'm not really sure what kind of Mega it is, but we'll find out in the match. When I show you it, and he has a Breloom, Galvantula, UC, and High Dragon. On my side, I'm using a weird, a weird combination of using Skarmory and Vikini and Sylveon as a core. Also packing a Salamence, Gengar, and Qualitzer. So it, it's a fun team. I, I randomly. Uh, got some Pokemon to try out, and it, it's going to be a good match, I, I guarantee it. If you enjoy this Wi-Fi battle that I'm going to show you, you can hit that like button and subscribe as well. I appreciate it. It means a lot to me. But now we're going to get into the match. Hope you guys enjoy this. Here we go. So I'm going to start with Skarmory, and he's going to lead out with Charizard. Not really a good a good matchup, uh, but... I do have Sturdy on this Skarmory, which means I can move any one move and then go with Stealth Rock. Uh, but, I mean, I could have switched out to Vikini, but I didn't want to take all that damage coming in. That way I can just have a free switch on the Vikini. Unfortunately for me, the Bolt Strike fails to kill the Charizard, and now I'm forced to switch out. I was actually expecting him to go with another Dragon Pulse. That's why I went to Sylveon, the way I did. But he double switches out and goes into Dawn Fan. I go for Calm Mind. I'm not really sure why I did that. And he also goes with a Rapid Spin. Gets rid of my Stealth Rocks. So my Skarmory's death is in vain. Uh, he ends up switching out and going to Bray Room. I'm not really sure why he did that because I went for Hyper Voice and it's super effective. Uh, so that's a free KO for me. He went for a Thunderbolt and paralyzes Sylveon, which is a little unfortunate. Uh, he gets up a Sticky Web as well. Gets out of there with a Volt Switch. I knew he might have the Focus Sash, uh, but what can I do about it? Now, unfortunately for me, I do I get paralyzed when I try going for a Shadow Ball. We do hit it, but it's a little bit too late as the light screen is up, which will cut down my attacks from from those, uh, you know, just the, the light screen is going to cut down my attacks. Uh, so we're able to finish off for Vantula there, and that's a little unfortunate because that's going to give him a free opportunity to go into Charizard Y again. Gets a lot of damage to my Sylveon. I don't have that much of recovery on the Sylveon, but that's fine. Uh, he went for an Earthquake, finishes off my uh, Sylveon, but that's okay because I have Gengar who has Hidden Power Ice. I was expecting it to do a lot more damage than it does to the Gone Fan. I'm going to continue going for, or actually I'm going to go for a Shadow Ball. I was thinking of going for another Hidden Power Ice, but um, I just went for a Shadow Ball just to put some more damage onto the Gone Fan, but really I should have gone for another Hidden Power Ice because High Dragon wouldn't appreciate it. So great, so granted, uh, Gengar does go down, but, you know, it's fine. I go into Vikini, go for a U-turn, and go into Clawster, uh, 
the sticky web is going to come into huge effect here because I'm not going to outspeed the high dragon. Uh, but he goes back in the dodge hand. I just go for a dragon pulse and that's going to easily finish off the dodge hand. Uh, unfortunately for me, uh, the life turns up, but f fortunately, we got a critical hit. So all that, just, that, that, that was pretty awesome, getting a critical hit like that. Uh, but, you know, that's not going to end up mattering. Uh, High Dragon is going to go down here because I have Salamis. I thought I could live with my my bikini there, but that didn't work out too well. I were able to clinch out the victory because my Salamis outspeeds the High Dragon. So, that was a two... A 22 turn battle, excuse me. And, uh, it was a pretty close match. It came down to the wire 1-0. And, uh, it was a fun match. Alright, have a great day, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Alright, goodbye now.